Hi guys. This is a short video. I always do short videos these days. <laughs> I haven't got time um, to edit, so I do short videos. And this one, these three little tomatoes that I took off the vine today because we've started to get frost and I don't want to damage them and they're out, they grow outside and um, they, they just sort of gave me the memory of the people I'm so grateful for over the last year, year and a bit that um, I really tried to make an effort for growing things. Um, I know I show a lot of my animals, but I do do some gardening. If you'd follow, you'd know what happened with the goat, Billy, getting in and <laughs> demolishing my garden. Ah, I, I still got some things from it. I did still get some food from my garden that I grew myself. And it is still producing now. We're into October. We already have frost up here. Um, and there's already snow on the mountains. So... Just wanted to do a quick, um, I suppose, a quick rundown of who inspired me and who kept me going, and who I have to thank for these little tomatoes. May not seem a lot to some of you, but I have tried and failed for years to grow my own food, and I'm finally getting somewhere this year. And I want to thank those involved and let you know. Let me see. The first person who I found on YouTube who really inspired me to try again and look into it was actually Jess from Roots and Refuge. Fantastic channel. Jess lifts me up and she her videos really made me want to try. Try again. Have a beautiful food full garden because of her I was looking around YouTube a bit more and then I found Hugh Richards who is in uh, Wales and I thought well he's in Wales the climate's not too dissimilar from Scotland so if he can grow stuff surely I can but I, you know, he's a, he's a strapping young lad with lots of energy, youth and health on his side. I thought, I don't really, I don't have all of that. And then I found Liz Zorab from By The Farm. And Liz talks about her depression, which is something that I also have. And she's also in Wales and she grows... A lot of things so not too dissimilar climate and with you know the main health problem that causes me issues when it comes to gardening so you know the the losing um you just sort of get tired and and the losing your uh impulsion to get it done i can't find the words at the moment <laughs> and then from but you know liz <laughs> Liz is, well, Liz is older than me, but we do have some of the similar health problems. So that encouraged me that if she can do it, then I, I have no excuse. I should go and give it a go. And Liz is like me. Everything in her garden is just made out of her just saying, I'm going to give it a go. And half of her garden's held together with cable ties. So is my. Half of my car is held together with duct tape. So, you know, I appreciate Liz's way. And then I went on and I found Rose from Wholesome Roots. And Rose has an autoimmune disease called Hashimoto's. And it gives her some of the very similar symptoms to fibromyalgia. And it was really good because she'll talk about it as well, the same as Liz with depression. Rose will talk about it. And 
she'll say how it's affecting her and how it's affecting the garden. And I found that inspiring because, again, Rose, Rose is around about my age. And if Rose can do it with Hashimoto's, then I can do it with fibromyalgia. And if Liz can do it with depression, I can do it with depression. So then Rose and Jess then actually got me more interested in goats because they both have goats, which is great. And then, you know, I've, I've been growing stuff. And it's like when Billy demolished my garden, I could have given up. And I felt like it. It gave me a hell of a knockback. It was horrible to walk outside and see all of your work gone. But you see, these three tomatoes, the person over the last six months who has really encouraged me and when things have gone wrong has said stick with it it's going to work and whenever i've said i'm a really bad gardener and she said no you're not keep going it'll work and if it wasn't for her to be honest when billy destroyed the garden i would have pulled it all out but i didn't i left it i tied the bits up and now i have three tomatoes that are growing outside it's the wrong time of year for them to be growing outside, but they're still growing. And even though I grew the tiniest garlic, tomatoes and potatoes you've ever seen, this person told me, you know, she said, I told you you can do it. Keep growing. <laughs> and now I have three tomatoes. From outside and that is the wonderful jazz from alternative small holding and those people Jess, Hugh, Liz, Rose and Jazz are the story of my gardening over the last year um, one other person uh, I cannot remember his name. He's from um, Allotment Diary. I also watch his Ingleton Pottery. Uh, he grows insane, giant vegetables. And I found his channel and I just thought they were hilarious. And his inspiration for me was just grow whatever makes you fun, makes you laugh, whatever makes you happy. So, yeah. For those people for helping me start the inspiration, Jess, Hugh, Liz, Rose, and then the person for really just making me carry on, Jazz. I can't thank you guys enough. And it's because of you. I have three, these three little tomatoes. And I may have only had a few tomatoes and a few things this year, but I've had more than I've ever had before.